Hello guys, welcome to another few money. Today's Friday, Bitcoin has been falling like crazy and with nothing else to say except analysis for the charts, let's go directly to screen share. So here we are at the price to time model and let's uh, try to make sense of something here. So let me zoom in on the price to time model and we are now starting to get delayed regarding the 2017 cycle so it is very very probable that starting next monday which is the new candle for the new week we will be not ahead but behind the 2017 cycle which is the yellow candle pattern you guys see here and the probability is very high that we will have a new candle below the yellow candle pattern meaning that we are delayed regarding this cycle so this means that the side the current cycle will take longer to achieve a top um, and that depends of course not going below the 30k level that we have been uh, where we have been already and that everyone thinks it's the low for this correction this big 55 56 percent correction we had uh, for the last few weeks so uh, let's check the RSI. So the RSI is a weekly RSI, as you guys know, on the price of time model. We went up to the uh, mid cycle 2013 when we had the 75% correction mid cycle, uh, mid bull cycle. So we had a 75% correction and this was the level that was achieved then, this orange dashed line here. And we went above, we touched it, and we are now going back down. So it's not it's not a very good uh, picture right now. Uh, we have continuing to accumulate in this area. If we continue here for some more time, it doesn't mean that we are going to see a bearish market yet. But that's it for the price of time model. So far, there are not uh, big differences since yesterday. So let's go and check the MRI strategy on uh, the week chart so for the weekly chart I have uh, uh, some concern that this candle that is currently going down could be an engulfing candle engulfing candle means that this uh, the body of the candle could turn out to be bigger than the body of the previous candle and if we go below uh, the top of the triangle which I was already expecting yesterday, as you guys remember, I was expecting that we could make a small correction to find support again on the top of the triangle and then continue sideways and probably going back up with a reversal in the price action. But if this turns out to be a continuation to the downside and the current weekly candle continues to go down, uh, and closes and this is very important so we have to wait for sunday night or uh, monday morning depending on when, where you are in the world but for the close of this current candle which is a big red candle if we close it below the body of this green candle here this becomes an engulfing candle which is a very bearish signal and i would not like that to happen so i hope the top of the triangle finds some support for the price action and we can at least go sideways for some time before reversing the price action to the upside but for now this is very very premature to say what's going to happen no one knows the future as you guys know already i don't predict the future in this channel i just give you the different probabilities for different Different scenarios and then you guys have to come up with a plan for the different scenarios and different percentages of probability that they will happen and this is what we do here so for now if this closes as an engulfing candle it's a very bearish signal you guys know that already so let's see how this evolves until the close of the week so let's take a look at the daily the daily looks exactly as I was expecting yesterday that we could touch the triangle and then stop that price action going to the downside and wait for the next day to at least have some kind of reversal which would be very nice if we had a green candle just a bit bigger than the previous one being again an engulfing candle but the green one so that would be a bullish sign of course the RSI in the daily <coughs> sorry the RSI and the daily, of course, going down because it's reflecting this one to four candle correction we had here. The MRI top was on the third down candle, but if this was on that candle, this would be uh, uh, like a textbook perfect one to four candle correction for an MRI top. However, we had the MRI top on the third candle, so 
I don't see it very, very strong as if it was on the first candle of the reversal of the price action. So I'm not expecting, but it's very, very possible, but I'm not expecting the price action to go inside the tri triangle and remain there. So it could go inside the triangle again, but find some support around here. As you guys see, we have some support around exactly this level. And it's possible that we could find support also on the top of the triangle for a new reversal of the price action. But that's it for the daily. It's very, very similar to the weekly. We just see it a bit more spaced with more candles but we have a sell signal here this is not good i don't like the sell signal i don't like the mri top the only thing that is good in this chart is that if the price action stops going down around here it means we found support on the triangle and this support line around the middle of the accumulation area so we have to wait and see how today closes also so that we can see if the starting candle for tomorrow will start to go up or continue continue the downtrend to uh, the you know the inside the triangle uh, the MACD was getting bullish we were going up the two lines were going up but now the blue line is going sideways while the orange line is still going up so they are closing the gap between each other also the bars are getting light green which means the bullish momentum in the daily is also losing some strength it's a very very neutral chart right now no one knows what could happen we could go to the upside we could go to the downside although as we have been on a recent short-term trend to the downside going to the downside is a bit uh, stronger as, uh, as compared to going to the upper side of this price action level so that's it for the daily i don't see any more relevant stuff here i just want to keep it simple for you guys uh, so let's see how this evolves on the daily too i hope the top of the triangle find support for this price action let me check the four hour quickly and see how the bitmax funding rate is this is not good people are already expecting a reversal of the price action and usually when this happens we see that the fact that we have been uh, leveraging positions to the upper side so creating some long positions on bitmax means that people are already thinking about taking advantage of a reversal of the price action and usually when that happens the price continues to go down and liquidates those uh, longs that were recently created so i don't like the fact that we have been creating a few longs here although this is not very very high it's 0 0.01 but it means that people are already waiting for a reversal which could prove wrong because you know the guys in charge <laughs> the whales will probably want to liquidate those longs and still sell some more just to make it go inside the triangle at least to leave a shadow or a weak inside the triangle and probably later after all these guys are liquidated then we could start to see some kind of a reversal in the price action uh, the the rsi is very very close to oversold territory so that means that we could still see some down uh, side here but it could be very very close to at least a short-term reversal finding support on the top of the triangle as i said before that would not be uh, bad at all but i'm afraid that the bitmax funding rate showing some signs that people are expecting a reversal very very soon is not playing in the favor of the bulls and we have to wait uh, some more time and probably a bit more of downside just to end this um this um leverage longs that are appearing here okay that's it for the mri let's take a look at the pro indicators framework so here it is as i was saying yesterday and i was also saying uh, on wednesday when i was at the class with phil i was expecting phil was already becoming very very bullish and the price action was still around this area here not even going down this well it was starting to go down for this area i will zoom in so you guys can see it better so i was at the class with phil exactly when the price action was around here and then we started to go up and he was very bullish already and i said um don't be so bullish yet because i foresee that we could still touch the top of the triangle
and find some support there before having a reversal. But now I don't even know. It's 50-50, guys. It's impossible to predict the future. Right now, it's very neutral. The RSI is completely sideways. The MACD shows uh, bearish on the week, bullish on the daily. You know, the, the, the four hour is also bearish again. So it's not easy to understand what's happening right now. I just hope, as technicals usually say, that when you break out of the triangle you will find support again after a small retracement to the top of the triangle so that's what i'm expecting to happen so that's uh the pro indicators framework also tells me that we are very very close to the trend channel bottom which is the green zigzag line you guys see here this is coming up in a fury and it's probably going to find the price action around here but we will have to wait at least two three more candles of four hour just to have the bottom of the trend channel which uh, you guys should know corresponds to the shorter time frame as compared to the one i'm in right now so i'm looking at the four hour time frame so this trend channel uh, corresponds to the support context and the resistance context which are the gray boxes on the lower time frame which is the one hour so on the one hour the support context is coming up and it will probably find the price action around here at the top of the triangle so i hope this is a, a sign that the down down uh, trend the short term downtrend that we are having right now will stop when it finds this support context on the one hour and then we could have some kind of short term reversal probably initiating a new uh, uptrend in the short or medium term so that's it for the pro indicators framework you guys see here that we are starting to lose the momentum for the bears i get a, I, I have a bull signal already here you guys see the blue dot and the sine wave okay so this is a bull sign that we might be close to a price action reversal to the upside so uh, i'm that's what i'm expecting after finding some support here at the top of the triangle let's see how this evolves in the next few hours and let's take a look at the traditional markets this is what i don't like and this is one of the reasons bitcoin has been losing so much these last few days the dollar is going up like crazy and you guys already know this has been my opinion for a long time that the dollar and bitcoin have an inverse correlation so every time the dollar goes up bitcoin goes down because you know the big the big traders the the institutional traders usually arbitrage between the dollar and bitcoin every time the dollar goes up they sell bitcoin every time the dollar goes down they buy bitcoin to protect against the inflation of the dollar so i've been saying this for a long time there is an inverse correlation between the dollar price on the dixie on the dxy and bitcoin price and this is exactly why bitcoin is going down right now because the dollar is getting very very strong as compared to other fiat currencies in the world and that is one of the main reasons why bitcoin price is going down it's not that bitcoin is devaluating it's that the dollar is valuating much more than expected so that's why the price on bitcoin is decreasing a bit let's check gold gold has been going down for a long time already all this week has been going down i bet peter schiff is vomiting like crazy like in twitter you see <laughs> max kaiser posting those uh gifs with the guy vomiting all the time and i bet peter schiff is also not enjoying this chart very much i i would say that i continue to think that this low for the dollar this swing low where the mri bottom is could be the low for the year i agree with tone vase here but uh it depends if the 200 period sma will have support for this price action or not and if the dollar continues to go up like crazy breaking resistances then it's very very possible that bitcoin and gold continue to go down and probably gold will find a new low for the year so uh let's see let's see what happens with the dollar i guess the dollar will be the main driver right now for what happens in gold and bitcoin and if the dollar continues to go up like crazy i would say that the dollar and bitcoin could also find new lows so you guys should 
always take a look at the dollar and see what's going on because it's really important when you want to see what's happening also in Bitcoin. So we continue to be above this big trend line I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Uh, here it is. This is a trend line. This white line coming from down here is the line that comes from the low of the of March of 2020 for Bitcoin. This is a daily chart. And as you guys know, we went to that level the exactly same level as we had here back at the beginning of this year and then we had this retracement before going up again and we were rejected exactly at the same level we are now touching the top of the triangle and i'm expecting at least if not the top of the triangle to support the price action i'm expecting the trend line to support the price action before a reversal to the upper side but i guess we will know very very soon because there's just a few more days until if we continue at the, exactly the same level there are just a few more days until we have to touch a trend line and then something will have to be defined if we break it to the downside or if we reverse the price action to the upside something will have to happen because you know the trend line is a diagonal and if the price level continues to go sideways we will cross it to the downside so we will have some indication soon uh, in just a few days we will be touching this line anyway unless we have a reversal of the price action after touching the top of the triangle so uh, that's it I guess the MACD for the daily, which was in historical lows of negative 5,100, is now around the negative 1,000, 1,000, yeah, exactly, negative 1,000. But we are now stopping the rise of the blue line and the orange line. And there is a small reversal here for the blue line, you guys can see, like a small hook here. So let's hope this does not turn out to be another drop uh for negative territory on the macd i guess that's it for today i don't want to make it a very long video today so let me just stop screen share if you enjoy this content gently touch the like button subscribe to the channel if you are new or even if you are not new and don't forget click the bell icon select all for the notifications so that you get notified every time i upload a video on the channel and if you enjoy the content i guess you will want to know when i upload new videos of course and so that's it for today i will just leave you guys as usual with the wise words of sarge esther house all right let's roll hey let's be careful out there and that's it, guys. Let's roll and be really careful out there in the markets. I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, tomorrow, it's Saturday, so we have the live stream. Probably we will have the live stream sooner than 5 p.m. Portuguese time because that's exactly the time when the Portuguese football team is going to play for the European Cup. So I will probably start the live stream sooner than that. Uh, or otherwise if anything extraordinary happens because you know no one is going to show up because everyone is preparing to watch the game we could define a new or a different day for the live stream so don't forget that and i will see you on the next one bye bye